Oh, what a beautiful morning. The sound of music is familiar to those at Cedar Village, especially when they see 86-year-old Gertie Dock. When you listen to it, your whole self gets in it, and you just feel it from within. <laughs> music runs deep through Doc's veins. Well, I went to Juilliard when I was younger, and uh, it was really a lovely experience because I was by myself in New York. Doc was an accomplished pianist. She's one of 20 people involved in the music memory program at Cedar Village, giving her a chance to remember times dear to her once again. A person who has dementia um, loses many aspects of memory, but what we understand is that memory in the brain through music is located in multiple brain centers, and so even where the brain diminishes function, music remains embedded. Lenny Katsu began the program a couple years ago, training six people to help. Since then, it's grown. Can you hear it? Each participant gets an iPod of their own, loaded with their favorite music. The music is helping those with dementia remember their old selves. You can get into it and you become sad or happy. You just take on what it promotes you to do. I had an instance recently where a son was sitting with his mother and we put the earphones on her and after listening to a piece of music, she responded for the first time in three years saying his father's name aloud. It brings back a focus of memory and it's astounding. Yeah. With earphones in hand, those like Doc are feeling a little more like themselves. It just comes out of you like a burst of sun, really. While marching to the beat of her own drum. In Mason, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.